Hey investors, I'm Dave Hathaway. Welcome back to the channel where we discuss real estate, investing, and building wealth. Today we're doing one of our deal day episodes where we look at a new property in a new market each week to see if we can find some dang good rental properties. This week we're gonna look at the market of Chicago, Illinois, which has the headquarters of Boeing and United Airlines. It is a major railroad hub. It's also home to the Chicago Bears and the Chicago Blackhawks. And it's a major city in the mid US. But does it have awesome investment properties? We're gonna look at the address 235 North Sacramento Boulevard in Chicago, Illinois, 606 one, two. If you guys like content, find value in this channel, I'd love it if you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow the channel as well as bring on great guests to help you in your journey for financial freedom and to become a better investor. Looking at the overall market of Chicago, Illinois, it has a population of 2,608,425. It's declined 1%. 0.65%. And if you look at this graph, it's lost about a third of its population. That isn't good. It's had job growth of 1.1% compared to 2.0% for the national average. So it's lower than national average. It's got an unemployment rate of 4.4%, a little bit higher than national average. Average salaries are 61,860. That's pretty good. Medium sales price of homes, it's 330,000. It's up 6.5% year over year, so that's good. Its median rent is 1,972, not bad. My overall verdict of the market is I'm gonna give it a thumbs down. With that population decline and low job growth, I don't love it. So moving on to the Google Street View test, when we're looking at all the areas around this one property. This is a nice looking stone property. You look at both sides of the street. It's a normal city street. It's actually pretty clean. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up for the Google Street View test. Moving along to the listing of this property, it's listed for 209,900. It is a five bedroom, three bathroom townhouse and it's got 3,072 square feet. So this is normally the type of property that I purchase in Baltimore, and that's why I was drawn to it. It's a huge property, so it's gonna command more rent than most properties. And when you sell it down the road, people like to have a lot of living space. So it was built in 1895, and looking at the listing pictures, I'd get rid of those huge big ball lights on the main room floor. I'd add stainless steel appliances to the kitchen, and then I'd also add really nice frame mirrors to the bathroom kind of a staple that we do that makes the pictures look really, really good. I fixed the leak in the bathroom on the ceiling, but overall the property is in pretty good shape. This is gonna be a smaller rehab, probably about 10K or $3 a square foot, and you're gonna have a really good rentable property at this point. So I'm liking those pictures. Moving along to the analyzer, which you can download for free. If you look below in the comments, we'll have a link to it. We input Zillow rent at about 2,600. It was a little bit hard looking at the Zillow map. There was properties running all over the place, some running for really expensive, others running for cheaper. This is a bigger property. We think we're gonna command kind of a higher rent. It might even get more than 2,600, but that's what I came up with in looking around at those comps. It looks like that in really good shape, it should sell for somewhere around $275,000. So once we fix it up, we'll have a little bit of equity. The property taxes are $3,833, not terrible. Then looking down at that cash flow, it's gonna cash flow about $1,668 a month if you purchase this property with all cash or 8.88% cash on cash return. That's not bad. With a loan, a 30-year fixed at a 7.65%, our analyzer shows that you'll be making about $468.63 or 9.97%. And I don't mind those numbers at all. I totally bless this property as a long-term rental property because you're getting cash flow 
and you're getting some equity spread right off the bat. So if you decided in one or two years, hey, I don't want the property, guess what? You can sell it and make twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. Overall, I'm gonna give the property a thumbs up. So the verdict on Chicago, Illinois is you can find rental properties there. I don't love the market. As I said before, thumbs down on the market, thumbs up on the rental property. You just have to be super careful when you're purchasing in markets that have downward trending economic fundamentals. That means population that's declining. Often, I compare these markets to something like a Detroit or a Pittsburgh. You just don't get any appreciation with those properties. I'll bless purchasing in Chicago based on the fact that you have to get cash flow. You cannot bank on appreciation in 10 years guess what? This property could sell for 275000 the same of what that it could sell for today. The other thing that I'd like to say is in these markets, it's important if you buy properties that are very specific, i.e. they're really big, so there's only a few hundred six-bedroom properties, you know you're kind of insulated from the mainstream. If you buy a two-bedroom or a one-bedroom property, then you have to deal with the masses. And you, if you have a population decline, people can select whatever property they want. So they might be able to look at a thousand different two bedrooms, but maybe they can only look at three different five or six bedroom properties. And that's why I say sometimes it's nice to purchase on that higher end, a little bit more luxury property. The more heads, more beds model. Guys, if you like this kind of video, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you on the next deal day.